All right, I'm gonna break this down into different departments or you know categories. So, just from observing the clouds and how light and dark interact with each other, you notice that they look like you know from a distance they form some type of image and they're ferociously attacking each other that would be between like two clouds but if you ever notice between the cloud in the background of the sky whether it's a blue sky dark blue or light blue it forms a silhouette image you know that forms some type of face either it's a side view of a nose face forehead and you will see this is white and it's the cloud and right here is the sky or whatever but it's dark and you will see consciousness is showing you that image that image right there is the duality between the polarity of the feminine and the masculine the positive and the negative and those is the forces when they combine that creates reality or this world it starts a cloud it makes energy is, you know how everything is if you look at the hues of skin color you know the darkest is a black man and the lightest being a white person you know and you see that's the same thing that reflect out for the sky and, 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 and light you talk about darkness and lightness you talk about you know forces that is just polarities if you want a good understanding, look at a droplet of water. If you was, if it was not some type of darkness there, you would not see it. It would be an invisible drop. It would just blend because of its reflectiveness and the fact that it's all reflecting light. It would just reflect this background, the surrounding. But if you look at a droplet of water, it has a little bit black part to it. It's half light and half dark. And it's the same thing with us, you know, our body, even when you make it or whatever, it's, it could be all one color, but it got a darkness shade around it. We cast shadows, everything is shadow. Now, when you start going into shadows, it's where we first was conceived from. As thought came into cloud, you know, its first form was and not just the light, like say the sun itself, it was the shadow it cast that gave um, spirits the ability to ascend to souls, which ascended to flesh, you know. So they was first shadow beings in what's called the underworld, which is the magnetic field of this world, the earth or thought. And in there is everything. We was first, you know, different forms of creatures from where you read the Illad of Homer and the Odyssey, those type of creatures from there, to, you know, being and sold plants and rocks that was literally um, people with souls or soul beings but couldn't move. That was just stuck in one position and some animals was created which gave abilities to move which, you know, yield to us, the human or, you know, the composite being, the highest now of all that is in creation because of our composite being self, we are the trees, we are the air, we are the water, we are everything. And it's confused into us in ways because it's part of our thoughts, our emotions, and our us locking on to a mind or thought, we pick and choose what we want to think and what emotions we want to express. And this is where it's hard as a human being, even though we're the most advanced being, it's like we kind of get confused upon how to deal with all these forces around us with emotion being a very high influence force, you know, and we tend to be emotional. All right, now, this has a lot to do with the dark side still because the, the conversation is going to be about the dark and light. Now, you know, everything started with the darkness if you didn't know that. And by the darkness compressing itself, inverting itself to create light. And you know, like I said, from the light, that's where the shadow world came and souls came down 
And when Souls first this holographic image went into the earth and came out and started walking as this man. Now, these dark layers or this dark shadow is still upon us. And this layers upon layers upon us. These dark shadows is from the angel world or what's called the fallen angels. Fallen angels in the sense of the titans, meaning we are the sons of um, or angels and archangels, you know. So we have demon qualities to us because that's what's the stratosphere level to make human beings. It's like you go high up in density, you vibrate so fast you disappear. So they go down lower, you start slowing down in vibration where you become a gas, a cloud, and particles and elements which form skin which forms us so we're really dumb you know but just a whole bunch of it composite all together and they word it as the four elements fire earth air water you know and so we have that inside of us now which now are taken to the left hand craft to make this interesting what we could do with it is under meditation we could go into that matrix pattern between the light and dark and separate ourselves from all of it and become the observer of it as we travel through our inner self which is dimensions now this is who you really are and not saying the world is a illusion the physical world but the light that shines upon it cast an illusion and what we feel and what we're conditioned to is the illusion itself and not to our soul self which now causes contradictions that's where you have jealousy envy love hate all these feelings that you can't really understand or control but it's dominating in your life so if you don't be able to grasp the whole concept of what's going on how everything works these dark spirits or your dark soul will take over and it takes over in many ways it takes over in the sense of you could have unfinished love or hurt from love that you harbor deep within you that becomes these dark spirits and these dark demons and it makes you now have an onion a shell over the true you and you express yourself throughout life not your full self but as characteristics you develop from these dark spirits or dark forces and these is what we call succubuses these succubuses now is what's living off of you or sucking you or your real true self away so it eats off your life essence and it makes you obnoxious arrogant and hard to live with you become like a, a tyrannic person you know totalitarian in your family to your kids to your wife to your husband or whatever, or your kids to your parents. So if you don't get seized control of these, you would not be able to conduct yourself in the form of way that you're supposed to, to be in this reality. So it's very important to learn these forces and these energies and all this that's going on. And once you get an understanding of how the dark and the light are part of energy that is one, you learn to manipulate it and how to use it for your um, benefit instead of it being used um, against you or you being conditioned to just follow. This has a lot to do with mental discipline and what we believe because your belief is where you're going to follow and sometime in your belief it's not actual and so you will have to first get to your destiny of your belief to learn like oh it's nothing there it was an illusion. So this is what the, where the problem come in. So you will first have to get beyond all of these belief systems and stuff that you have inside. And then you will understand the true forces and the true nature of yourself. Once you understand the true nature of yourself, you understand that there's a good side, a dark and a, a light side. And you, the expressor of it, the mediator, and you express them accordingly to how people treat you or interact with you, but not suppress it in a way where you be abused or oppressed in any way. Now, this force is, once you unite with it, 
it's like a, a, a molder. It's like you on the potter's wheel because you remold yourself to be an artist. You spend a lot of time with yourself molding your thoughts. You start using the tetragrammaton, which is thoughts trying to will into existence, where you see yourself, where's your goals. And you start manifesting them first as cloud images, as projections. And by doing so and holding these thoughts for a while, by isolating yourself and building on what you see and your views of life, you actually make this cloud now condense inside you. And you send out these magnets that is, you're going to be attracted to once you finish this meditation and allow yourself to be free. And you will see yourself align with all those thoughts that you put out. And this now cloud image start to condense and liquefy and become a, 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 a actual physical manifestation of your thoughts. And you make your reality. So these is what you first have to let go of and grasp to make understanding first of how to use this force or this energy. Once you're able to do that, you can summon the dark spirit just like you can summon the light spirit. Neither one of them is what they say. They're not evil or anything of that. They have no moral. They're just attributes of yourself and you get to learn to express them upon your needs. It was like if somebody was abusive to you and was gonna um, put their hands on you, you will disassociate with yourself and another spirit will come and take over and you will commence to kick ass or you will fight or flight, run. You know, these is just part of what they say is the reptilian brain, but in reality, a different spirit come. Just like if you was to express love, a different spirit comes to your pineal and it expresses it. So you got all these different attributes of yourself that we all share. That's what we all have in common. Once you're able to grasp it, then you could summon your father from the light and you could summon your father from the dark. It's two different peoples and it's two different spirits. And you could do different things now, like we're gonna get into the left hand craft real quick. By looking into the mirror and staring at your own reflection, you know, I could do it in the light, but you know, it's recommended to have it in a dark kind of environment you could literally trigger your magnetic field to flash and start flashing off and on and you're going to see your image go from light to shade, light to shade. And if you could hold the flash and get it so it's just silver or the other flash, you could get yourself to arise your soul, waking it up. And if you waking it up, it becomes your teacher or your guide. You will see more. And this technique now is how a lot of people started learning about initiations. Initiations was into secret societies and mystery schools that taught the soul how to wake up. You go through the process and you know, you discipline yourself, but at the end the benefit was you are soul ascended, you're awake, and you will have abilities that is kind of um, unique to everybody else. So with that happening, you get to know how life really works. And once you understand the, the good and the dark, everything on a whole, you're able to cast judgment and make decisions that's more wise and more long-term as far as help. And we on a whole can't help a nation. We gotta help ourselves and help our neighbor. And once you're able to do that, it's a chain or domino effect and everything follows. So I hope this gives you a better understanding of things, and y'all have a good evening. University of Conscious Science, one love.